Conan O'Brien is leaving the airwaves, but he might end up on the internet. We've got Christina Warren to talk about this coming up on The Bottom Line. Save time and money by skipping business trips and using GoToMeeting. Visit GoToMeeting.com slash tech podcast and get 30 days for free. Tonight's the last Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. And if you've been following all the stuff that's been going on online, he can't be on, uh, on the air till September. Now, Christina, do you think he's been burned out by the whole network world? Do you think he's actually taking something like the Revision 3 offer seriously at this point? I don't think the Revision 3 is taking the Revision 3 offer seriously. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's a fun thing to do. It's kind of like what, it's very tongue-in-cheek, what Saturday Night Live uh, used to do in the 70s, offering uh, to have the Beatles come on um, every night, and they would, they would offer like a dollar, and then they'd raise the price, you know, and, and I think they reached like $100 or something like that. It's always very tongue-in-cheek. Um, but it's an interesting idea. Uh, so much of Conan's support has been built online, especially with the, you know, the um, I'm with Coco movement and, and all of that, that who knows um, if there was some way that he could do online shows before shifting to a, a network again, that, that might be something he might do. I don't know. You know, I'm starting to wonder the intelligence for the NBC lawyers here. I don't know if they even put in a provision to stop him from doing online stuff. You remember back in the writer's strike? When right. there was nothing on, there was nothing on TV, but they went online and put a ton of content out there. Uh, I guess that doesn't break any rules. I, I, do you think the lawyers caught this one after they got burned? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think that in, in this case, it, it would probably be in NBC's best interest, just from a PR standpoint, not to put too many uh, provisions on what he can do. But but you never know. Um, I mean, they have got since since the Writers Guild strike, they have been a lot more proactive about. Um, online content being seen as, as something the same because the big part with the writer strike was that uh, the writers were not getting paid for any of their online work or for any online sales. So while people were doing their own products online, it was also a matter of saying, hey, NBC is making us do these webisodes and we're not getting paid for it. Um, I don't know if they've worked into the contracts now as far as with talent, if that would have anything to do with it. But it, it there's certainly a, a chance that some of Conan's writers might be prohibited from writing for him um, I, online. I, I don't know. I think he might be the right guy to actually make the online movement actually work. I mean, the video movement online has been pretty good. It's almost mature, I think, with like Hulu really coming to its own and the network mm -hmm. sites actually are working pretty well. I mean, right. the question is, will he use all of these people that are, we're all for him, all the Team Coco, not Team Coco, I'm with Coco and Team Conan, don't want to offend anybody over there. Uh, um, do you think he's going to actually try to use this to spin this into something more? I mean, the online component could be a huge gain for this guy because if he's going to be off the air for several months, he's got to keep his name out there somehow. No, absolutely. Uh, and, I, and I think that um, it would probably be in his interest to do so. It's interesting, though, you know, you talk about Hulu and you talk about, you know, the the network sites. When you look at the rise of online video, the really successful stuff has usually been from an official content provider, has usually been from an actual production studio in some sense. So although I'm sure that the Conan, if he were to do kind of a, a Joss Whedon-esque sort of thing and have his own, you know, domain or just something like what Tom Green has been doing for, for years now, um, he could probably gain traction and, and remain with fans. Um, but to be honest, I think that even if it was just occasional news leaks, this is the sort of story that's been big enough, and this is this he's the sort of guy that's big enough that if he had to wait until coming back on TV in September to be on Fox, or you know, presumably, he'd probably be okay. I wonder if he's going to end up being a constant fixture on, uh, what's that show with Zach Galifianakis, Between Two Ferns, I think? Yeah. Yeah, he could yeah see, that, that, that would be great. I think that that's the sort of thing that, that could be really cool, that could add something, that they, if you could add some sort of, you know, maybe not be the Conan show, but have Conan um, on another show that already exists within some other networks. That could be really cool. So that, that's a subtle and, and not thinly veiled uh, invite by TechV, by the way, to, for Conan O'Brien to show up. Talk about tech or any other thing you'd like to talk about. <laughs> uh, or show up to Mashable, where Christina Warren works. Yes, yes. Show up to Mashable, do, do videos for us. We would, we would love it. But uh, I, I think that, that our offer would be much like Revisions 3 and, and very tongue-in-cheek. I don't, I don't know if uh, that would ever get taken seriously. Well, I, I'll, I'll, I'll chip in for a pizza. Uh, I don't know. That's all we can offer right now. Christina Warren, thanks for being on the show. I really appreciated it. Uh, guys, you can watch TechV anywhere. We're not on the networks yet, but we should be. You know, there's a, I think there's an opening at 10 o'clock on NBC.
you can hire us. Uh, we're on YouTube, Blip, everywhere else. And Christina Warren is at Mashable.com. And actually, everywhere online. Any, any sites you want to plug? Uh, Mashable.com, ChristinaWarren.com, and AMCEntertainment.com. New script to screen blog. Well, thanks a lot, and we will see everyone later. Bye. Promo code AFTV SAVE and get 15% off any order over 75 bucks at CCS.com.